Hello, I'm uh, Brian Cole and I'm sitting here with Jack Farr and uh, he and I are going to be discussing the management of medium articular cartilage lesions that have become symptomatic. Jack, one of the more common things that we'll see are, that are truly symptomatic tend to be these medium sized cartilage lesions and um, I think it'd be interesting just to discuss an overview and keep in mind that it's location matters as much as size, especially as we reach these medium sized lesions. I think having discussed the small lesions, we both know we can probably use the technologies we discussed, such as marrow stimulation, with or without biocartilage, maybe osteoconal autograft, in virtually any location. Now, as we get to these medium sized lesions, we maybe have to be more sensitive to the fact that location may matter, depth may matter, and so forth. So, maybe give me some of your thoughts about. Uh, first of all, the technologies that you might use on the femoral condyle versus, say, the patellofemoral joint for the medium size, we'll say two to four, four plus square centimeters. Okay, so th that is a pretty standard lesion we see. Uh, probably the standard one I see a medial femoral condyle is probably four centimeters squared, so that's right in the range. Um, typically, it's somewhere between cell therapy and osteochondral allograft, and there's some subsets of those that may be available. Um, looking at those, I think one of the things I'd like to get across early on is the importance of the bone. The subchondral bone, uh, 20 years ago, we really didn't know that much about it. Today, we're knowing more and more, and we're, we're finding the importance of having healthy subchondral bone. If, it, if we don't have basilar integration of our cell therapy in particular, it's not going to work. So patients that have more s cell therapy-based uh, treatment would be those that have cartilage only. So the bone is very healthy bone and it's a cartilage-only lesion. Uh, an older patient, maybe an uncontained lesion, um, certainly if they have bone loss or a horribly looking uh, impressive T2 fat suppressed image on MRI that I'm concerned about the health of the bone, then I'm gonna go focus more on osteochondral allograft. Yeah, so I'm pretty much in that same area. What I tend to see are patients who get these lesions in association with a menisectomized state. So what uh, an underlying current here is anytime we're dealing with these, we all know that we're going to be dealing with comorbidities. So isolated lesions, we do see them, especially symptomatic OCD after the piece has been removed. That can be a lesion that many of us will just jump right to an osteochondral allograft, even though there's evidence to suggest, suggest that other things might work. But let, we're always mindful that, hey, if they're missing meniscus, that gets dealt with if they're malaligned, that gets dealt with concomitantly or in a properly staged fashion. But sticking to the cartilage technologies, um, I, I, would we agree that we start to outstrip what we believe marrow stimulation will provide as we get towards four square centimeters? Even with, I mean, I will use biocartilage almost in every setting when I do marrow stimulation in these larger lesions, but if there's any bony involvement, I typically move on to an osteochondral allograft. Age does factor in, right? I, I do find in my older patients, uh, with any subchondral change, I'm more willing to go to an osteochondral allograft than anything else. As far as surface treatment, my, I've been uh, leaning more towards using cartiform, a three-dimensional sheet of cartilage with a little bit of subchondral bone um, when the bone is not involved. And then cell-based therapy, which at least in my hands, I've really pretty much had reserve more for the patellofemoral joint, but even that's changing now with, with cartiform, which is easier, less expensive, and is a single stage technology. So this is an area where location may matter. So just to reiterate, you said uh, tibial femoral joint, um, you, would, you would use either cell-based and very young. Anytime there's subchondral bony involvement, you would use an osteochondral allograft. Right. And I imagine cartiform would fit in that same algorithm? Yes, I, I find that cartiform is useful in a patient that has a schedule that has to be met. They want to do it on December 18th, yeah. I can I can provide that. I can't do that with an osteochondral fresh allograft every time. All right, and then think about the patellofemoral joint. Right. Um, would you would you opt less frequently for an osteochondral allograft and more frequently for surface treatment such as cartiform in the patellofemoral joint? So I, I think for a monopolar lesion, I, I feel comfortable either way. If you look at the results, they're both on that order of 70, maybe even 80 percent good or yeah. excellent. If you look at bipolar lesions, the cell therapy based are still on an order of maybe 70 to 80% good or excellent in the series. However, even in Bugby's hands, uh, fresh osteochondral allograft, bipolar, patellofemoral, maybe 50, maybe 60% at five years. And then finally, frequency of uh, TTO or tibial tubal osteotomy um, with a patellofemoral lesion, what would yeah, you? Well, I think you, um, that's a whole topic, but, sure. but, but very briefly, you have to look at the comorbidities. You have to fix everything about it. So. You, you should um, certainly know where the tuberosity is, what the alignment is, tilt, et cetera, in PFL. 
and you need to treat those specifically right. for the patients. So much more, it's very rare that I do an isolated patellar lesion. I'm usually treating yeah. one other comorbidity. Right, I would agree. And then the only comment I would make is for failed patellofemoral treatment, my go-to is osteochondral allograft. We're looking up those results. And so any treatment that's failed on the patella or the trochlea that's not an allograft, we revise with an allograft, and those results have actually been very good as a salvage uh, I fully agree. That's, yeah. my, that's my go-to for salvage patellofemoral. Okay, thank you.